They told me somebody went live and had something to say about me. So I don't want people to think like this is some some tour or something like that. I got music that's out. I got music to promote. It took me a long time to mentally, emotionally be able to get to a point where I wanted to release music. It's taken me forever to just be able to talk. I haven't gone live in how long? Like, I haven't gone live in how long? Years, you know what I'm saying? Very rarely. So, I wanted to inform you about how these things work. You know what I'm saying? How how, how interviews work. And they chop up, they, they like to chop up out of interviews the things that they think y'all gonna click on, the things that uh they think that y'all gonna react to, you know? And that's part of journalism. That's how it goes. Unfortunately, the things that they ask me about are things that I never intended to ever, ever talk about. You know what I'm saying? I never I never intended to, to speak on none of these things, but I'm somewhat of a public figure, I guess, and people want to know. You know what I'm saying? Inquiring minds want to know. And uh, in all actuality... These things is never even easy for me to talk about. Like they never, it's never something I want to speak on. Never something I want to elaborate on. You never want to see me speak on my personal life, whether I be happy, sad, and different. You know what I'm saying? Just little tidbits. So this is these are always uncomfortable for me. Um, anyway, like I said, I go out here to promote my music. Y'all never heard me speak ill, um, about anybody to this point in time. I never intended to. I never did so. But if you watch my interviews in their entirety, I always speak about exactly what happens, exactly how I feel, without even giving too much, because I don't like to dive into too much. But I have no problem taking accountability. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Let's let's talk about what the definition is. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, find me an interview where I say no. Not once. But I just don't appreciate people throwing rocks and hiding their hand. I was chilling. I was cooling. Nobody asked me nothing. You know what I'm nobody asked nobody nothing, in fact. And and throwing rocks and hiding your hand is just... That's not good behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's not good. Especially the people that have been good to you. Um... Everything I needed to talk about, I talked about on the song. Everything I needed to say, I said it on the song. People want to know why. They want to know what happened. And when you paint things in ways that they didn't happen, you got to clear it up. You got you to clear it up. Um, but with all that said, with all that being said, I wish happiness for everybody. I wish healing for everybody. I felt like I was well along my journey. I felt like I was well along in my journey. I had put a lot behind me. I had uh, I had ate a lot of shit as, as a male, as a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just ate it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this was like not one of those times I was going to let it slide. Let somebody speak on me and let my let my story be told by somebody else. This wasn't one of those times I was going to let it slide. Um, so so that, that's, that's what all this is about. Like I said, I'm here. My music is out. That's all I'm going to promote. People ask me these questions. And, and, and for... and for no, None of this would have ever came up. I didn't start this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't plan on talking about none of this. And now it seems to be the talking point. I'm a bad guy somehow. Somehow I'm a bad guy. This is not no clout thing. This song, this song is not on my album. You know what I'm saying? Like I got plenty of accolades on my own. So much shit I do on my own, where it's like, yo, if I want to pop my shit, I can pop my shit. I never needed nobody else for clout. People want to... I don't need that. I don't need that. At all. That's it. That's it. Look at my interviews in the entirety before you judge me. Listen to my songs in the entirety before you judge me. You know what I mean? That's all, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. I'm not, I'm not on no, you know... Tour for nothing. I want everybody to be happy. Everybody to be well. 
everybody's on their own journeys of, of healing and, and doing their own shit. And that's all. But, like I, what's this? You like this song? This seems to be the trending song while we, while we out here. As you should. What's up guys, welcome to Vibe City News Desk. I'm your host, Alastin Mandela. And welcome to our YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, whatever you're watching us from across the world. We really appreciate your effort, you know, just clicking on our video. And hope you will be entertained. Now you all recall yesterday morning, Megan the Stallion just took it to her Instagram live, you know, to talk about some things. And, you know, she had so much to talk about. First of all, you know, she talked about the whole issue with, you know, Tori Lanez, where Tori Lanez driver just came out to say that Kelsey Harris was the one holding the strap when Megan the Stallion got shot. And Megan the Stallion just came out to address that and say that, you know, she saw who shot her. And the reason why Tori Lanez is behind bars is because he was guilty. And, you know, he's the one who shot Megan the Stallion. So people should not stop spreading this rumor saying that, you know, it was Kingsley Harris who shot her. But it was Tori Lanez. And among the other things that, you know, she also had to say, she talked so much about her ex-boyfriend, Paddison Fontaine. And you all recall, you know, this whole conversation is collected after <clears throat> Paddison appeared on an episode of Angela's, you know, lip service. And he was, he went ahead and denied that he was unfaithful, though he admitted to be an inappropriate interaction uh, over text during the relationship. He said that he, he denied the fact that, you know, he was unfaithful and he said that he didn't cheat on Megan the Stallion. Now, after Megan the Stallion, I guess, just going over the interview and watching it, she just came live on her Instagram, you know, to address the whole issue. And on Wednesday morning, you know, she went off on her ex, Paddison, on Instagram live. <coughs> <coughs> And I'm just going to quote some of the things that she mentioned on the live. It seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, these bros be like, come back. Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You're not supposed to be smiling right now. That's just a quote of something that she said on the Instagram live, saying that, you know, she has been trying to work on herself of late and trying just to focus on the positivity. But each and every time she focuses on the positivity, people are always pulling her back and, you know, still bringing her some more and more negativity. And I'm just going to continue to quote what she said on the live. If this man is saying, I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, then why is he responding to me? Do you know how many bros you all claim I done feed with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that show fit? Was it you getting your dick sucked in the same spot I was sleeping? If you said it wasn't you, why the hell is you dizzing me? Like what? What? What is going on? What are you talking? What, what? Why are you talking to me? If you said I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you, you just wanted to find a reason to bash me. It seems very strategic. <clears throat> and you'll recall in the song Cobra, you know, Megan rapped, <clears throat> pulled up, caught him cheating, getting his dick sucked in the same spot I was sleeping. And according to the lyrics from the song Cobra, you know, he was just talking about his ex, who he caught, you know, he caught him cheating on their marital bed, and that is Paddison Phantom. And when meanwhile, you know, Phantom, you know, uh, uh, appeared on the little service to talk about his new song, you know, The Person, where he called out Megan after he accused him of infidelity. And according to the interview, uh, Paddy said that it was definitely not my intention. It was just something I felt like I had to do. The more and more her song sat with me. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like the way I was being portrayed. I don't like people not knowing the whole story. And when asked if he was unfaithful to the rapper, uh, Fortin says that's not what happened at all. He said that, you know, this is my thing, right? It's hiding text messages, cheating on your partner. If it's something that you have to hide from your partner, is it cheating? 
in that regard, I said inappropriate, correct, right? But the way it was painted, it had me so mad. And you'll recall that Megan and Paddy met while working on her award-winning song Savage Remix, which earned the artist two of her three Grammys award back in 2021. And in 2021, the rapper confirmed her romance with Fontaine during an Instagram live session. And they have been together for a while, uh, which, you know, earlier this year, there was some accusation of cheating. And, <clears throat> you know, back in May, Megan sparked a breakup rumors, you know, when she was seen out with Belgium soccer player Romain Lukaku. And the two attended a wedding in Le Como, Italy, and were photographed touching each other's arm. And, you know, in a separate recording, the Captain Hooker rapper went off about her former assistant and best friend, Kels Harris, and denied that she was the one who shot her, you know, according to what, you know, Tori Lanez driver had stated earlier. So, Paddy just came out, you know, to defend himself after Megan the Stallion just went live, you know, and said everything that he said about Paddy, saying that Paddy should stop hiding, you know, behind all these interviews and talking lies. Because Megan believed that, you know, Paddy cheated and he didn't only cheat, but he cheated on their matrimonial bed, which, you know, broke Megan so much. And, you know, it's something that she has been trying hard to heal from. No, Paddy just coming out and justifying that, you know, he did nothing wrong, has brought so, so much negativity and negative energy to Megan the Stallion that she just had to come out and make a whole Instagram video addressing this whole issue. So tell us in the comment section what you think about the whole party and Megan the Stallion story. Who do you think is telling the truth or what's your opinion on their whole relationship and how they ended up things? And don't forget to like and share this video. I've been your host, call me Alestin, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.